Um, I'm considering it. Yeah. It was it was equipped with third rail, but could only do about 90 miles an hour on it until it until it hit the tunnel, which does and then it does something like 180. Okay. Isn't it high speed all, all the way through to St Pancras now? Yes, it is. So we're doing a comparison of the UK versus other countries in Europe. And we've got 68 miles of high speed on the railway. And the Belgians have got 1,500 miles of that. Yeah, it's a stupid. France has been there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. French are massively ahead, aren't they? But well, they reckon the stretch that we just built has cost over 500 million pounds. The West Coast. Well, I was saying that. Yeah, yeah, some bankers to the tunnel. Yeah. Or wherever, wherever it was. Not even that, was it? It was just an extension, wasn't it? From the West Coast. Was yeah. Back into those, aren't they? And they had to build a massive bridge somewhere in Ken. Because uh, there was talk about it on how they was built, built it and stuff. Yes, it is. Eighteen coaches left. Is it? I think it is. So is Railway your other copy of the game? Yeah. I'm kind of like getting back into it sort of thing. Fascination with the railway. I don't know. It's just uh, something I've always had. Yeah, okay. Since it's the boy's first top of the tank engine train yeah. set. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love that. I can understand people having a fascination perhaps with the old steam railways. Yeah. There's a little bit of clever engineering there and the smells and the, all that sort of stuff. Well, people being interested in that. Well, these bloody great big. Uh, yesterday, yesterday I was I was at Beamish, right, and they've got like a tramway museum, yeah, yeah. and there's a small stretch where they used to have a steam engine just going up and down, so uh, but that kind of like that wasn't running then, and the un and the engine was uh, stuffed in a shed in the uh, colliery village. But they also uh, opened a new stretch of railway and it had this very, very old engine known as the Elephant. And it was made in 1815. Where did Stevenson's rocket come in then? When was that? 1825. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yes. Do you enjoy the steam railway as much then? Yeah. The, my favourite train before this has to be would have to be the HST. Right. Because what, what's that? Uh, the diesel version to this. Oh, right. Basically, it's uh, eight coaches and two screaming engines at the other end. <laughs> and what's this one? Uh, 225. Right, and how many coaches will this, will this have typically? Eight. Okay. Plus, plus loco and uh, DVT. He uh, is a pretty, pretty useful engineer and he's 
built a couple of these modern, well, a model engine. Fantastic, fantastic little bit of engineering. Hi. Um, I used to have a, a Hornby train set and uh, when I was younger and used to uh, have a little play with the uh, model trains myself. No, I'm talking about one of these that's been engineered and it's probably as long as this table sits <laughs> on a, a track yeah, accordingly, you know. Uh, it's a steam engine. Yeah, yeah, it's a miniature steam engine, isn't it? That's it. I can't yeah. really put my hands up because then I'm looking at the track. That's a few hours. Uh, I don't, I don't, hours, I don't, I don't know. Well, I've yet to build a model, model around myself. You've yet to, or are you going to? <laughs> yet to. <laughs> Do you work in this industry as well? Does that help? No? No. no. I work, I work. Yes, I should. I've been, I've, I, I've been, tri I, I've tried for the last year, sent like several uh, applications to various operating companies. Believe me, there's about 20 of them. <laughs> and would the ultimate job be driving one of these things? Yeah. Well, at least uh, uh, inspecting tickets or something. Yeah. So, to be honest, I'm better at flying than I'm driving one of these. <laughs> better at flying? Did you have a go? On a, on a flight simulator. Oh, it's an expensive hobby. Not really. <laughs> Not the simulators, you getting your pilot's license. Real thing. Yeah, getting your pilot's license. Yeah, you're 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 getting your I think he's only just getting to the stage where he can go as um, far off coast that he can't see it all, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah no, it's, but that's when he, can't, when he can't see the coast, you've gone too far to help. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, I think he's at the stage where he can go a certain amount of miles from the coast. That's it. Yeah, there's something about, you need something about 500 or 1,000 hours or something to achieve, like, uh, the ultimate license. Mm. It's like I guess if you're doing it, you know, every every two or three weeks when funds are lapsed, yeah. five hundred to a thousand hours takes a while. The interesting thing is the uh, driver's license itself is expensive enough, and then there's the proper driving itself, <laughs> like the car insurance and car yeah. tax and. Yeah. Very interesting. I would like to have to do all that again. <laughs> My, my daughter was talking to me about that. You know, don't, don't forget that I'll be driving in two years' time. Yeah. Expectation of what they're going to get. Yeah, my, neither of my daughters actually bothered. Didn't they? Oh, good. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Did they drive down? No. No, I don't. I've only, I've only got the provisional so far. Mm. Yogi's daughter and her, her boyfriend used to. He's got his license, he used to drive around, and they've actually sold their car. So they live in the living city? They live, live in Kingston, in London. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So as long as public transport is good, you don't care. Yeah. And he works, he works for um, the London, London Transport. The, um, in the underground? No, it's the. Uh, What's this? The, 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 the mayor's office people that do the. Uh, Strategic planning thing oh, for, okay. for, for, for transport. No, no. Transport for modern density. Oh, oh right. So, uh, so I guess there must be some transport concessions then for doing that sort of job. Well, there is. He gets a bit of transport. Yeah. But he actually goes goes to his office in Richmond on his bike. So good man. <laughs> Kingston, Richmond. Yeah, Sorry, that is not. Yeah. Only about three miles. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Bought the bike through the council. Uh, so you, you get the bike schemes these days, you get tax deducted from the. If you bike through your firm, if you offer bikes through your firm, yeah. you can get the uh, VAT and income tax knocked off the, the bill. So it's a 
20% discount before you start the walk. Just trying to encourage people to get on the bike. Good idea.